Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our MTG keyword series and looking to escalate today. Please hit like and subscribe. It makes such a big difference, it really does. Um, let me know what you want to see. I always take advice. Every time someone gives advice, I always listen, so yeah. What is Escalate? It was originally released in the Eldritch Moon set. This keyword ability on modal instance and sorcery spells. So it's again, it is for instance and sorcery specifically. It allows you to choose an extra mode for an additional cost. Maximum flexibility, right? There's a lot of like modal things. Even if you look at, um, what is the name? Riku. Riku is like a new commander that is based off of modal. So this is a great thing to throw into a Riku deck. Or Riku, not Riku. You're not uh, out for like trying to prosecute drug dealers or something. But anyway, yeah. Riku. The added cost must be paid at the same time as the spell's cost. So essentially you can't wait until see if it gets countered to activate more of the modes. Yeah, you do have to pay it all at once. You can't like pay the original cost and then once you find out if it's actually going through, be like, oh, now I'm gonna add more. That, uh, yeah. If you're doing a bunch of extra ones, you gotta declare it right away. And it gives other people like all the information to decide whether I'm gonna counter it or not. So yeah, that's something where I could see someone trying to like uh, be a little shady. Sound familiar? So this design was inspired by Entwine. Entwine also allows you to choose more than one mode, although it has two options and choosing, uh, paying the Entwine cost lets you choose both. So Entwine is only, is always two I should say, and it only lets you do those two, whereas um, this, yeah, Escalate can have more than two options and you can select between them so yeah it is really just an upgraded version of entwine it's almost the same idea but yeah a little a little bit better also the cheaper i think as well mana cost wise escalate is often cheaper for the extra mode number five collective brutality for one in a black this is a sorcery escalate cost is discard a card that's a really interesting one. Um, so tar you can choose, target opponent discards or uh, reveals his hand, you choose an instant or sorcery, they discard it. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Could be removal. Target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Eh, sure. <clears throat> Again, with uh, some black decks, that'll be really good for making sure you get your, um, uh, your life gain trigger. So that could be quite useful. What is really good about that is the Escalate cost. Being like, you can discard two extra cards to activate all of these modes. That will uh, that will really make a big difference. If you have a Madness deck, right? If you have a deck where you actually want to discard, or even if you want, you've got like Delirium or something, where you want to make sure you have a bunch of different card types in your graveyard, this lets you just like put whatever into your graveyard immediately and it Having that option is kind of more powerful than some of the effects, I think. Anyway, 93 cents. Number four. I said Alliance. Okay, so this is one and a white for this instant as Escalate 2. A little pricey too. Uh, target player gains four life. This guy says target player. On tap up to two target creatures. And uh, target opponent sacrifices an attacking creature. So this is very much a combat trick, right? This is like someone attacks you and you're going to like untap things. So you've got two blockers all of a sudden and you're going to exile one of their attackers. Um, the opponent does get to choose what they're exiling. So it's very, very good, particularly against like a Voltron deck. They're going to attack you with their one big important creature. And... Uh, this targets the opponent. It does not target the creature. So if the creature has like indestructible, hexproof, all of those things, it doesn't matter. This targets the opponent and the opponent sacrifices it. So it still just takes it out immediately. Um, don't underestimate effects like that. 14 cents. Number three. Collective Defiance. This one has gotten a reprinting, obviously. So one red red for this sorcery has Escalate 1. 
Escalate one is what I look for most of the time. Or a, a more interesting, but anyway. Choose one or more target player, discards all the cards from their hand, and then draws that many cards. So you can use this on yourself if you just want to get different cards in hand. That's great. If you've got like a wheel deck, use this on someone else. And you'll take a bunch of damage and have to, you know, do all this discarding they probably don't want to be doing. It will be very useful. Especially, combine this with like bounce effects. Like bounce a bunch of stuff back to their hand and then make them discard everything and draw new cards. Like, oh, me. Collective Defiance deals 4 damage to target creature. That's going to be removal for most creatures. And it deals 3 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Especially that it gives you the option. 3 damage to an opponent? If they're low, then that's going to put them in danger territory or maybe even take them out. If they have planeswalkers, that's going to stop that ult from going off. It will be very useful. 16 cents. Number two, Collective Resistance. I love this one. Uh, one and a green. I actually ordered this recently. Um, <clears throat> and Escalate is one green. Kind of want to probably have like a mono green or green focus deck for this. But yeah, choose one or more. Destroy target artifact. Destroy target enchantment. So you can destroy two things for three mana. That's really, really good. Especially enchantment and artifact are the things I usually look for in my removal, so yeah. And finally, target creature gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Especially in like commander, but anytime you've got like a deck where you want to protect that creature and make sure it stays there, this is just incredible. Uh, green is really well known for those like big stompy creatures, and this is going to keep it safe. You know, if there's like a board wipe, destroy all creatures. All right, indestructible. If they're going to use target removal, hexproof. So yeah, this will deal with all kinds of problems. 133. Number one. Collective effort. This one is so good. One white white for this sorcery. The escalate cost is just tap and untap creature. If you've got like even creature tokens to tap, great, you're set. Oh boy. So choose one or more. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Four or greater. Most of these effects will say like four or less. Um, four or greater. Again, that Voltron creature is getting taken out. That big attacker, gone. Uh, destroy target enchantment. More removal, hey. Again, if you've got three mana and an untapped creature, you can destroy that big creature and an enchantment. Uh, ooh. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature target player controls. So you could just like put a whole pile of counters on all of your creatures or someone else's creatures if you want to do that for some reason. Um, again, you can do all three by paying three mana and tapping two even anything creatures like one one token creatures if you've got those hey three mana you you're casting a spell with three pretty awesome effects two removal and uh, just boost for all creatures that you choose um or all the creatures that a player controls i should say Whew. anyway 11 cents only it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a list okay Collective Brutality is 93 cents. Lost Alliance is 14 cents. Collective Defiance is 16 cents. Collective Resistance is 133. And Collective Effort is 11 cents. All the collective things are not actually all from the same cycle, believe it or not. But anyway, take it easy.